What's up guys, Triple M here again, and today we're taking a look at a very special product. I think you guys are going to love this one. Now this is a portable projector guys, so it does have a built-in battery. It has a 42 milliamp hour battery built-in. But what makes this projector stand out from the rest is that this has integrated Android 4.4. So no need to connect an external device. So in this video guys, we're going to do a quick unboxing. We're also going to take a look at the specs. We're going to load Kodi of course and try to load the build and see how it performs. So before I jump into the specs and the unboxing, I just wanted to thank my subscribers once again. And for you guys that are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of this page. And that way you'll be eligible for the monthly giveaway that's happening on the 1st of May. For you guys that are new to my channel, I do have a monthly giveaway. Usually it's a box or something that I feel you guys would like. And that's happening on the 1st of May. It's called the Me Box and it's a very popular box and I think you guys are really going to like it. Also, for you guys that are interested in VPN, whether it be for your Kodi or just for your daily use, I do have a great service that I use. I put a link in the description of this video as well. This VPN service has an app for every device. It has an app for your Android, for your Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, of course. It has it for your PC, your Mac, your Linux box, whatever you have, this VPN service will have an app that will work for your device. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of this video. So I just want to give the guys at Atome a big shout out for sending this projector out to me. And I will be putting a link in the description where you can pick this up. Currently it's $268, but if you use coupon code TRIPLIM at checkout, you'll save $20 instantly. Now the projector, like I said, the model is a C800i and this is running Android 4.4. The brightness is 100 lumens and the resolution is 854 by 480. And this is a full HD, so this is 1080p guys. As far as the Wi-Fi, it does have dual band at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and it does have Bluetooth 4.0. It does have a RK3128 quad core processor and this is running at 1.2 gigahertz. In addition, it has one gig of RAM and eight gigs of internal storage, but it's upgradable up to 32 gigs. So it does have an SD slot where you can go ahead and upgrade if you need it to. As far as the different ratio guys, you can switch from 16.9 to 4.3 to 16.10. It does have a manual focus and adjustment guys, so you can make the image as large as 30 up to 120 inches. And, but for the best display, the best bang for your buck you want to be about three meters away as far as the battery like i said before it's a 4200 milliamp per hour lithium ion battery and this will give you about two hours of playing time and two other things that i want to mention is that this projector does come with a remote that requires two AAA batteries which are not included and also the led lifetime is about 30,000 hours so this projector is going to be around a while so without further ado let's go ahead and open the box and three, two, one. All right, guys, so here's the box. Pretty plain. Not a lot of information on the outside. Just says uh, Android Smart Projector. So let's go ahead and open it up. Nothing here. We have some paperwork here. Smart Projector. Basically just an instruction manuals. What's in the box, different ports. But well, we'll go over that a little bit later. Put that to the side. Here's the projector itself. I'll put that to the side as well and see what else is in the box. So we have three boxes inside the box here. So let's open a big one first. So this is the power brick AC adapter. Pretty standard. Here's information, that's a three amp adapter. See what else we got. Here's the remote, guys. Looks like a pretty standard Android remote. As the play, as the click button. Look like we have the mute, navigational, enter. You have the back, of course, home, menu, volume up, volume down. And this looks like it's a projector settings button. So we'll check that out once we get in. Not sure what this button is. Maybe it's programmable, but it's not labeled right now. It does use two AAA batteries, which are not included. And this is the last box. And I think this is the tripod. And I'm right. So here's a tripod, guys. So pretty cool for them to include this in the package 
and you can go ahead and just put your projector on there mount it and you're all set so i'll put this to the side as well and here's the projector itself pretty small so here's a comparison of size to my Xiaomi Remini Note 4 and it's basically the same size so this will fit inside of your pocket guys so let me take it out of the package it is nicely wrapped if I do say so myself and wow this is a beautiful looking projector <laughs> looks really good feels really premium as well Right. So let's go ahead and take this protective plastic off. And it has a nice carbon fiber look, guys. All right, guys, so back to the actual device. So here's the front. Of course, we have the lens right there. We have vents on the front as well as the bottom. Right here is the IR receiver, and you can't really see it from here, but it is in there. That's where you point your remote. Over to the side, here's your focus. So depending on what distance or how far you are from the actual screen, you can use this to adjust the focus. And I'll demonstrate this a little bit later. On the back, right here you have your speaker. You have your power button right here, HDMI in. This is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Your power adapter, DC in. This is your USB 2 port. You have a reset pin right there. And you also have your SD card reader. Nothing on the other side. Bottom just has the vent right there, it has the screw in for the tripod. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys the actual tripod. So here it is right here. Pretty standard, but one thing is that these legs actually extend a little bit, so it gives you a little bit more height. Let's push it back in. Push it back in and I'm just gonna mount it on the tripod for you. Pretty simple. Screw it in there. And here you go, all set. Now I should point out that the top right here inside the, the O of Taomi, there is the LED indicator, so it kind of shows you when the device is charging. That's about it, let's go ahead and power it up. So here's the main menu guys, and up top you have HDMI, you have your gallery, you have your Wi-Fi display, and what this does is allows you to mirror your Android device to the screen, which is pretty cool. Over now, you have your app installer, you have your Google settings, regular settings. You also have video, Play Store, of course, File Explorer, MX Player. You have Google Drive. You also have your browser, music, YouTube, WPS Office. You move over, you have Netflix, you have your free click as well. You have Happy Cast, which I haven't tested yet. You also have Real Racing, which I installed, along with ES Explorer and Kodi, of course. So first thing is first, let me just go to the settings and show you guys what the options are. So if you look up top, you see that you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you have a USB. Let's click on there. So it's just saying uh, connect to PC. Further down, you have display, storage. Click there, it just shows you what's being used and where. Next, you have your apps, you have your language input, option to backup and reset, you have your date and time, and about devices, click on there. But as you can see, it shows the model number as well as the Android version, and I should mention that this is Android 4.4, which isn't supported, uh, Kodi 17.1, so I did have to install Jarvis on here, guys. All right, let's go back home. Now, another uh, thing that I just wanted to point out is that on the remote, there was a black button that wasn't labeled in the unboxing. And basically what that button does, it gives you more options for the projector up top. So if you click there, you have the option for the picture mode, you have the option to flip, you go to the left or right, you have your sound mode. Right now set to music, you have your balance, auto volume off, surround sound off, equalizer. You also have your OSD language, you can factor restore, blend in height, OSD duration, and back to picture mode. So that's just a couple options. I don't know why the button was labeled on the remote. It's kind of weird. So first thing I want to do, guys, is just show you a YouTube video on here. And I will be demonstrating with the speaker that's built in. So that's a build video that I did a, um, a couple days ago. Let's see if I can get the volume up.
as you can see it looks pretty good you do have a, a mouse button here on the remote as well so you can go down and you can skip ahead if you needed to so that's YouTube guys and that is full 1080p and get out of here All right so that was my YouTube let me turn the remote mouse off Another thing I wanted to try is to show you guys the video mode. Now I did test video a little bit earlier and only certain formats seem to be working. I do have a 4K as well as a 1080p video and the 4K was not playing. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys. As you can see the quality is pretty good. Uh, it is 1080p. The picture is pretty good and if you guys are um, watching this from the recording and it looks good, it looks even better in person. That was a 1080p video. Let me show you guys what the 4K video is doing. That's the 4K video right there. And we'll just resume. And this is from my DJI Phantom. You can see it's playing, but it's really struggling to keep up. So if you guys have a 4K video or 4K videos that you like to watch, this might not be a good option for you. All right, so let's go over to Cody. I did install a build on here, guys. And this is Jarvis, as I mentioned earlier. It's just that it's running Android 4.4, and I can't get any Krypton builds on here. It's not compatible. All right, guys, so this is the Celador TV Dominoes build, and this is a very, very nice build. I do like it. So you can see the scrolling is pretty smooth. So let's see if we can get one of these TV shows or movies going just to test it out for you. Let's go to Stand Up Comedy. All right, let's go to Big Bang. And we'll just go down, we'll pick season two, we'll use Phoenix. Let's go ahead and try the first link. Here we are loaded, pretty good, quality is awesome. Let me skip ahead. And here we go. There is living proof that Cody works with this device with no issues so if you guys are on the run just need to grab something put it in your pocket this might be ideal for you all right guys so another thing i wanted to test out while i'm here is the racing real racing so let's go ahead and do that right now so, so far not bad guys remember this is only one gig of ram so pretty smooth for what it is definitely not as smooth as some of your higher end Android devices hi right, guys so one other thing that I wanted to point out is that up here in the top right you'll see that I have two icons here first one is just showing that I have a USB device inserted in the actual projector the other one is my battery percentage. This whole tutorial I was going off battery power alone. And right there it shows that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. So that's basically it for this review, guys. Like I said, pros are all over the place. Can't find any cons for this right now. Um, some of the strong points is that it has a built-in battery, which is a, um, a blessing because you don't always have to hook up the power. So you can get this and you can watch a movie on the fly, which I think is awesome. The fact that it's small, it's as small as a smartphone is another plus. It's not bulky, you can just put it in your pocket, you're on the road. The fact that you can project up to 120 inches is, is another strong point. This particular video, I'm only 12 feet away, so the size of my screen is about 60 inches, 60, 65 inches, which is pretty nice, and the quality is awesome, as you can see from this video. So imagine what it looks like in person, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description where you can pick it up. Also use the coupon code TRIPLE you get $20 off instantly and if you have any questions about this device let me know I'll try to answer it as soon as I can but I definitely recommend this device for you guys who who's looking for a combo device you don't want to carry an Android box with a projector and um, lug in big equipment around so if you have any questions about this let me know please like subscribe share and I'll catch you on the next video